Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenosaga Episode 3. Alright, let's uh, get one more item. Segment file, congratulations, you've completed the segment file. Whoa, did you really complete the segment file? Well, a promise is a promise. I'll give you my special present. Acquired Cosmos's swimsuit. How's that present I gave you? It's really sexy, isn't it? I don't know. I haven't equipped it yet. We'll equip it in a moment. Not sure where a good place to get a uh, close-in view of Cosmos would be. I suppose we could head up to uh, the women's bathroom. Uh, I think that kind of zooms in on the character. I think this basically leaves just one uh, real side quest to, to go uh, with this. Everything else that we'll be getting along the way in the uh, um, game. Alright, well, that's about as close as we're going to get, I think, right now. Alright, equipment. And in fact, we are going to be getting into our... Uh, Yeses, so let's put swimsuits on everyone. All right, so Cosmos's swimsuit. It's a lot nicer than the previous game, even if it does show off more and is a little bit odd in its shape. I think she runs a little bit differently. I'm curious. Eh, maybe not. Eh, maybe not. Okay, anyway. Uh, so we are going to be in our ESs, so the luck boost from the swimsuits should help. It'll also keep us cool in those uh, hot, hot cockpits. Let's go ahead and launch. So this is Mictum. Uh, apparently so. It appears to have seen better days. It is a land of atonement for mankind. This entire world is like a tombstone. It's a tomb world? Oh, oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. I hope we find the uh, pre-sentient cockroaches that I can uplift and uh, um, have them colonize all the uh, uh, tomb worlds in the game. This isn't Stellaris. My bad. What's up, Ziggy? What is it, old man? Getting scared? How did you know that Ziggy wasn't saying anything? No, it's nothing. Is it really, Ziggy? There's a lot of noise. The sensors don't seem to be working well. Mm-hmm. What's with you guys? You and Kanan are both acting weird. Get a grip, okay? Sorry. I'm fine. Okay, if you say so. Planet Mictum. This place has definitely seen better days. Can I get up there? No. That looks like something that I can blow up. I don't know, maybe I'll be able to get up there later. Looks pretty neat, though. I mean... I'm a big fan of ruins in games. Kind of thing was my favorite uh, um, part of uh, Xenogears. Huh. Well, that... That's a crashed ship there. Oh. Huh. I wonder who blew that up. Oh, it's you guys. Go barging into other people's homes uninvited. Hey, I'm an RPG player. That is required. I have to do that. And they're perfectly fine with it. They don't mind if I go in breaking their pots, opening their treasure chests, going through their drawers, finding all their items. 
This is an RPG after all. Avatar attacks and all that. That voice! You bastards are still alive? Well, I don't think we ever really killed them. Of course. Our role is to deliver punishment to you heretics. Can we pass on that? I'm not really big on punishment. So, you still haven't gotten tired of getting your butts kicked, huh? Apparently not. My, you certainly talk big for trespassers. I don't think those two concepts go together. Be grateful that the punishment of your heresy will take place here in the Ormus Holy Land. I don't see how that has anything to do with what we're talking about. You know, you getting your butts kicked again. It's above and beyond the honor that should be bestowed on someone like you. And again, I'm not real sure that you get the whole concept of honor here. Are you so moved that you're trembling? Nah, my butt was just itching. I was just, you know, moving around to get it scratch. already. Let's fight. Sounds good to me. Oh, don't worry. We will. Oh, I hope you don't like disappoint me though in in how pathetic you are. For your sentence is death. Eh, ah, don't worry. I plan to commute that. Okay, here we have ES Gad and ES Joseph. Um they basically uh operate the same way that they did in the last game. Um, Gad is vulnerable to lightning, although I don't really have anything... Uh, I mean, Ryubin can do something to take advantage of that, but that's about it. Uh, Joseph is vulnerable to fire, which is one reason why I have Asher, Asher and Ryubin. Um, otherwise, um, I basically have the same equipment set up, I believe, as I did in the fight against uh, uh, Omega Id because that seemed to work pretty well. All right, anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, get started. Let's see, missiles and then those. There we go. All nice, critical. Excellent. So, I should point out, um, oh, what did you do? Fist down. Hmm. Um, ES Gad has, uh, 280,000 hit points, and Joseph has 350,000 hit points. Uh, obviously nothing to steal, since, uh, we can't steal from in our ESs. been helping in that. I'm not sure. Anima Gift. Anima Awakening. Okay. I think we want to be kind of... Stop the enemy's special attack with ambush. Okay. We can't really do that right now. I'm going to charge up. Uh, right now, I think we're just going to charge up. Naglefar! Oh, I hope you're going out to Dina. Wow! Okay. Uh, because I did not get a chance to, um... I did not get a chance to, uh, charge with Asher. Or Ryuben, for that matter. Uh, charge up and get your hit points back up. Ah, damn it. I suppose I could have gone for, uh... Animal Awakening. I sh suppose I should have. Uh-oh. Okay... Charge up. Animal Awakening. I mean, I could try for an ambush, but 
I don't think that... Well, hmm. Actually, yeah, let's keep charging. At least now I know that I've got a little bit more time. Going for a Naglfar again. A lot less damage. Oh, Jesus. go after the uh, right person. Destroying enemy units. But I want to get everyone up to uh, max before I start trying to ambush. That's a thing. Nice dodge. Like it. Um, hmm. Oh, actually, you need to charge up again. Well, I suppose now that Asher is up to uh, level 3, I don't need to... See your face. God damn it. Stop doing that on me. See if I can get a combo going. There we go. Not getting as many combos as I thought you might. A little annoyed. Yeesh. Okay, Animal Awakening. Ah, it's a good time to uh, charge up now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This could be bad. Don't, don't attack Dina. Good. Didn't attack Dina. Oh, that was that could have been bad. All right, so I'm not doing this as well as I could, um, mainly because uh, Dina is having a pretty difficult time getting her uh, uh, anima boost up. Um, I should probably wait until we get uh, an anima awakening again, though. I mean, uh, until he anima awakens. Or I could just go with it. Let's just go with it. Special attack, a Cerberus, a massive lightning attack. Oh, and I gotta finish strike. Excellent. It can't be. How can I lose? Because it's you suck. Impossible. impossible. And he died. Well, at least I don't have to worry about Naglfar anymore. Jeez. I will avenge Richard. No, you won't. Oh. Uh oh. Ow! 
Oh! Uh, I should probably check to see what uh, he does when he does Anima Awakening. Um... Doesn't seem like he does much. Alright, I'm not too worried about that then. Excellent. Attacking. Nice. Here, here comes the extra damage. Very nice. Yeah. Miss me. I get two missiles in there. Ooh, look at that damage. On. Nice. Of course, getting an ambush with uh, Ryuben is definitely the best. Oh, I love Attacking. it. Nice! Oh, that is so much damage. Okay, and Dina is up to uh, Awakening 3. Stand down. There's no need to throw away your life here. I see now why Chief Inquisitor Margulis respected you so much. Because he's better than Margulis? Yeah. Hardness will cost you your life, Jin Uzuki. Eh, I don't think so. Really not all that much damage, buddy. Come on, get a co-op. Yes. Oh, never with Reuben. Damn it. Let's take a save state in case this does not actually kill him. Next cannon! I don't think it will. Nope. Alright, let's uh let's wait another round then. Uh you know what? Let's see if we can get a uh a co-op with the uh, gym. No, instead we get Asher. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's extra damage, but still! Right again. I want to finish strike. Give me your finish strike. I want all your points. That is not a finish strike. Okay. Ah, no com no combo. Co-op, whatever. 
This guy does not do much damage. Without the Naglfar, this is, uh, this is like nothing. He's not particularly dangerous. Okay, now this should be enough. I mean, I suppose I could uh, use like an analyze ball or something. Yes, about time. If I can rest here, I'll have no regrets. Really? No regrets? All right. Well, you say so. Ah, so many more skill points. Everyone but Momo got a level. We got D Nullify Evade and D Half Physical. It's pretty nice, although there's a lot of ether attacks uh, from. Huh. Oh. What? A black ES. That appeared before. Is it a testament? I think so. It looks like he's taunting us to follow him. Well, we can do that. Uh, I'm actually not sure which way we want to go. Let me see what's the other way. If anything? Okay. If anything, it would be nothing. All right. Answers that question. The car is in good condition. Well, it didn't give us anything. It's been heavily damaged, but I don't think it was caused by combat. It doesn't seem to be caused by an atmospheric reactor accident or anything like that. I'm not sure exactly what you guys are talking about. It looks more like a natural disaster. That symbol. Galaxy Federation Police Department? What is it, old man? I've been here before. It was in the distant past when I was still human. Yeah, now we know why you were, uh... I didn't say anything when we landed, huh? What? It was here that I faced off against Voyager. Back when this place was still called Abraxas. That testament was on this planet too? Yes. Voyager was born here. And it was here that he transformed and ceased to be human. You want to expand upon that at all? Oh, database update. Well, don't mind if I do. Locations. Planet Abraxas. Fourth planet in the Mictum system. Fourth planet in the Mictum star system. Used as a base of settlement by groups believed to be under the influence of Ormus forces that had managed to escape the Earth upon its destruction. The groups formed an independent nation and... A uh, nation unaffiliated with Federation law, and thus declared the establishment of the Immigrant Fleet Nation. However, it was later incorporated into the Federation. The planet state's population is said to have been over 2.3 billion by the TC-4300s. Even after joining the Federation, records show that 67% of its population remained purely descended from citizens of the Immigrant Fleet. When the main immigrant fleet came to the forefront of history in the TC-4500s, it set off a countless string of conflicts with the Galaxy Federation over the planet's sovereignty. However, after the moderate Julius the 18th ascended to the patriarchy of the immigrant fleet in the mid-TC-4600s, the fleet advanced a policy of appeasement towards the Federation government. Both sides would continue to follow a divide-and-rule approach until Sergius the 14th assumed the role of patriarch. Jumped out too early, and doesn't look like there's anything else. Okay. So, ah, we can come up here. Uh, I believe. Whoops.
Eh, well, let's just go ahead and murder you. Uh, Saras 7S, 7S, and 6S. Let's start with you. Might actually want to change my uh, equipment around a little bit. Eh, he killed one, so that's the important thing. Um, they're all lightning uh, guys, but wow, okay. I'll take that. Uh, so the mobile game um, uh, spinoff for uh, Xenosaga focused on um, Ziggy's history. And I believe that this would look familiar if you'd played that game, which I have not, but I think I've seen some screenshots, and I think I remember seeing this one. Get, get the chest, thank you. Acquired Night Moon. Newly acquired Night Moon. Large SP+. Plus. Ooh, I like that. Um... Slots used 7. Half physical damage. Wow. Slots used 4. Null. Enemy evade. That is actually really good. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and change our ES equipment around. Uh, you're actually okay. Let's go back with that. And I think the... Grenade rifle or bazooka? Go with that, we'll get more hits in. And you're okay. I don't know if there's anything we can do here. Uh, but yes, yeah, so the mobile game focused on um, Ziggy's past exclusively and dealt with uh, his confrontation as a human uh, police officer with uh, Voyager, who I think was a ma uh, uh, I don't know if he was a, like a terrorist or if he was a uh, oh hi guys uh, a serial killer. We've got some Leviats and Leviat officers. Vulnerable to fire and beam. You are not vulnerable to anything. Okay. Fair enough. I think we'll go after you first. Nice. Probably use some of my uh, skill points now, too. Jacob Medical Imprinting. I don't know what that says. Uh, Federal Police Academy. Ah, FPA. Disembark the ES. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Um, I think we'll get an item this way. I don't know if there's any enemies. That is pretty impressive that you can blow all that stuff up, Cosmos. And yes, we are back over here. Goodies do we find? A Rejuvenator DX. Not exactly all that great as goodies go, to be honest. Doesn't really look like there's anything else around, so let's just head back to our ESs. I don't think we can blow any of this other stuff up. Not sure where a save point is either.
All right, well, when we return, we will continue to explore uh, Mictum and go see what uh, that building is up there. I really like the way this place looks. I mean, I suppose I should say I like the design of it. I would like to see, you know, what it, what it would have looked like uh, before destruction because uh, it's a pretty interesting looking place, I think. See you next time, everyone.